Fibblethip had always hated crowds. Flavor text of totally lost. The Azorius Senate of Ravnica is a guild dedicated to the creation and enforcement of order. Under their banner, they gather a myriad of individuals who specialize in law magic, research, and litigation. But the Azorius do not simply believe in the law being orderly. Their code dictates that the structures they inhabit are maintained to standards of cleanliness and safety. To that end, they employ many artisans and architects, as well as a vast number of servants to clean and tend to many of their properties. One such servant was an unassuming little homunculus by the name of Fibblethip. Fibblethip was a servant tasked with the care of the Magister's garden. He tended to the plants and removed debris as it accumulated over time. It wasn't much, and he was always at risk of being stepped on by visitors. But the garden was Fibblethip's sanctuary, and he was glad to be there. One day, the Magister's garden would be visited by an Azorius arrester named Parisha, who would require Fibblethip's assistance. Parisha explained that she needed to use the homunculus as a lure, living bait for a murderous member of the Rakdos cult, Vadax Gore. The arrestor hoped that by catching Gore in the act of trying to kidnap Fibblethip, he could be found guilty and locked away. While the homunculus didn't want to have anything to do with a danger like Vadax, he knew that it would be in his best interest to cooperate with an Azorius arrester. Though he wished dearly to return to the garden, Fibblethip agreed to help Parisha. Under the arrester's instructions, the homunculus visited a tanner's shop which was suspected of having a connection to Vadax. Sure enough, not long after exiting the store, Fibblethip found himself picked up and carried away by the Rakdos cultist. Fortunately, Vadax Gore was unable to get far before he was frozen in place by Parisha's magic. The arrester was never far, and she confided that Fibblethip was never in any real danger. As a result of his cooperation, Fibblethip was formally congratulated by a senator, as well as given the privilege of his descendants petitioning to erect a tablet in his honor upon his death. His greatest reward, however, was being allowed to return once more to the Magister's Garden, where he could feel safe and at peace. That is, of course, until his services were needed again. February 1st, 2013 saw the release of Geek Crash to the Magic audience. Though it would eventually prove to be a poorly received set, it gave players access to the card totally lost. Putting a non-land permanent on top of the library for 5 mana wasn't an effect that would see play outside of draft, but that's not what players found interesting about the card. No, they were drawn to its flavor text, as well as the adorably hideous creature in the art. This was Fibblethip, and he proved to be immensely popular with the player base. They latched onto this little guy immediately, and he became an instantly recognizable character. It didn't take long for this guy to get his own story, appropriately enough titled Fibblethip. It wasn't some epic saga, but it firmly cemented the character for the players. Throughout the years, Fibblethip would receive more nods and references in other cards, even showing up himself from time to time. Finally, nearly seven years after his debut in Totally Lost, Fibblethip would receive his own card in War of the Spark. The world of Magic the Gathering is vast, and there is a plethora of characters who only ever show up in flavor text. 
Fibblethip's story is one of a character who managed to break out of this obscurity into getting a card of his own. With his success, alongside characters like Massacre Girl and Lieza, we are reminded that Wizards of the Coast has a deep reservoir of characters to draw from for future legendary creatures. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or sharing this video with your friends. If you're subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell, you'll be alerted whenever I upload new videos. Finally, if you have a suggestion for a topic you'd like me to cover, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Thanks again, and have a great day.